Hello everybody, this is Naomi. Today I have a small Dollar Tree haul. And one of the things that you're looking at right now is these is this little uh, solar um, Halloween can dancer. Uh, I have been collecting these for a while. I have a big bay window in my li in my room that they're all set in the big window and they just dance. And uh, I don't have very many Halloween. I've got this one. I've got the three sugar skulls and a ghost one from last year. But the rest of them are, are, are Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, uh, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, stuff like that. But I think these are the cutest little things. So I have them. So, like I said, I have a small haul. Not a very big haul, a small haul. So, I found this little guy here. And I'm going to use him as a Halloween decor. I will more than likely be taking his um, clothes back off of him. Because that's not the kind of decor that I want. And something that I've found out about these pieces here. I've watched a lot of videos where people just cut them, cut the pieces in two, and glue them back on. One of the things that you can do is take a lighter, it's a plain Jane lighter, and heat it here in the um, middle, and let it heat, and it will eventually, and then you can take it and just bend it in that crease, and as it gets hard again, It'll be solid. It won't come back apart. It'll stay where you want it. And you can do the shoulders the same way. Um, I've I've got a couple of things that I'm going to be showing you uh, that you can that I've done this with because I don't like the idea of cutting them in half and then using the hot glue gun because if it gets too hot or you bump it just right, that hot glue is going to pop. So, I got to playing around, and I don't have a cutter and all that anyway. So, to me, that was the easiest way, was just to take a lighter, heat that plastic up. It's just like any other plastic, it's eventually, it's going to get, you know, loosen back up. And you can bend it and turn it and twist it to where it's the way you want it to be. So, I hope that gives you a little trick for that. So, then I found, <laughs> this is going to go into my Halloween decor, I found this little spooky tree with the rest in peace and the skull, and it's going to go over with all of my Halloween stuff. Um, I found that one. And then they had this one as well. And it's a skeleton. I want to say setting on a headstone. With some skulls and a ghost. And I'm going to put that in my Halloween decor as well. There's a better picture of it without the sun blurring it. Today is a very nice day. The, the humidity's up. But we've got a good breeze blowing. I've got my craft windows open my, in my craft room. I got my air off and the windows opening, open, the winds blowing through them, just enjoying them. And I finally found, it wasn't the color that I wanted, I finally found a, hand, a pair of those salad tongs. But it wasn't, I wanted the, um, Oh, the kind of a you know the bone skin color, but these will work for what I want it to what I want to do with them. So there's a project in waiting for that. Okay, for the last bag of stuff that I got, 
I needed some black spray paint. So I picked up two cans of black spray paint for some DIYs. Then in the fall, or well, I think it was summer um, craft spot, they had the these little shuttle boxes. And they they were originally two dollars and they're half off so now they're a dollar a piece. So I bought what was left which is four of these. And there is a DIY waiting right here that I plan to use them for. Then the last but not least I found these uh, felt uh, pumpkin stickers. So I picked up two. And then I found these felt ghost stickers. So that's all that I have for the moment. Oh, wait a minute. And then I found the skulls. So. If you like my video, hit the like and subscribe. Help me keep crafting and help me keep growing. Thank you and have a blessed day.